So I also want to take you for a journey, but journey into your souls. So have you ever heard anything about coaching? Have you ever met with coach? I have to say that a lot of people misunderstand a definition of coaching. And I will give you an example because my friend works at the bank and he told me that his manager is also a coach. I was curious about it, so I asked him, okay, how does he coach you? And he told me that he takes him to the manager's room and he tells him what he's doing right, what he's doing wrong, and sometimes he's even yelling at him. And what I want you to remember that it isn't coaching at all. Okay, so what is coaching? If we look at coaching from theoretical side, I would have to say that it is one of the forms allowing for personal and professional development. But coaching is a process, and coaching process depends on extracting from coachee, which is the coach person, all of the resources, skills, knowledge, and determination, which helps that person in achieving desired goals. So coaching gives strength to overcome barriers which blocks our development. But I should mention that coaching, it isn't just one meeting and it isn't even a series of regular meetings. Coaching is working toward achieving a goal during sessions and what is even more important, between the sessions. Why? Because coaching sessions just initiate the process of change so that coachee becomes more efficient and determined in reaching a goal. But, as I said, thoughts and actions between the sessions are even more important than thoughts and actions during the session. And again, why? Because this is the moment of truth. Minute by minute, action by action, and by working on himself, coach gets self-confidence and achieves desired goals. But um, do you remember when I said about my friend's managers? He claims to be a coach, but he doesn't behave like a coach. So, what is the difference between, for example, therapist, a trainer, and a coach? So, therapist, most of the time, wants to resolve your mental problems. And he tells you what to do, and what you don't have to do, and how you should do something. Mm, what is really important, 100 responsibilities of your actions are in his hands. So, what about trainer? So most of the time, trainer is specialist in one branch of industry and he wants to teach you particular skills. For example, how to call your clients, how to sell something or how to speak with your clients. And again, he tells you how to do something and how you should do something or for example, how you shouldn't. And 100 responsibilities of your actions are again in his hands. So what about coach? A uh, coach never tells you what you have to do, what you don't have to do, how you should do something. He's impartial, empathetic, focused on the future, on the goal, and on the coach's needs. He's like a voice of support, and he will never judge you. He's only asking, and that's why coaching is describing like, uh, as an art of asking right questions. Because coaching always knows the answer. So what coach gets during the whole coaching process? So coaching is able to define what it means to be happy. He is using his potential consciously. And what is most important, he achieves desired goals. Okay, but it was a theoretical side of coaching and I'm here to tell you my story. And I have to admit that during my coaching sessions I've met a lot of fantastic people. But one of the hardest clients who I met was my first client. And he was a student like most of you, but he wasn't thinking about education at all. Oh, no, 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 he wasn't thinking about education at all. He was just thinking about partying, drinking, having fun, and girls. Okay, I was just starting my journey with coaching, but we met together. And when we met for the first time, he said something fantastic, because he said, I want changes in my life. I want to achieve something. Okay, but what was it? If I were not a coach, I could thought that maybe this young guy who was partying so much wanted to be the greatest party boy of all times. Okay, but I was a coach, so I didn't judge him. I made with him coaching session. And during that session, I asked him a couple of questions. For example, what do you want to achieve? What do you want to change in your life? What it means for you to change something in your life? 
who do you want to be? And what would be your first step? And after those questions, during our session, he realized that this change and goal at the same time was finding a job. He just wanted to find his first job. And I remember that it was March and he told me that till April he would find his first job. And he had got a lot of great ideas how to do it. He was speaking with friends, he was sending a lot of resumes, he was seeking jobs on websites, and after a few weeks, a friend of his friend called him and proposed him a job offer. I remember that he was very, very happy because I didn't tell him how to do it. It was all his fault. But after a few weeks, we met again, and he was very, very tired. He told me that he couldn't reconcile time for studies, job, friends, and he also told me that he had only basic knowledge in industry which he worked in, and it was a huge problem for him. So we had another coaching session. And during that session, I asked him a couple of main questions. Uh, for example, what do you want instead of that? How can you develop your knowledge? What can you do to have more time? And after that session, one of his ideas connected with having more time was preparing plan of the week every weekend. And following that plan, no matter what happens. And suddenly, after a few days, he found time for studies, job, friends, and even for reading books which developed his industrial knowledge. I remember that in this particular job he even managed to be a manager. But time was passing by and we met for the third time. And he was very, very upset and very sad. And why? Because he had quitted that first job and he felt empty inside. He forgot about his skills, about his knowledge, about his determination and about his character. Because what was defining him as a person was that job and without that job, he felt no one. So, um, we again had coaching session and during that session I asked him again, what is your perfect job? What do you want to do? Who do you want to be? What do you want to achieve in your life? And when do you want to do it? And again, the most important question, what would be your first step? And during our session, suddenly he realized that he is still the same person, that he still has got the same character, skills, and even more determination than before. But his main goal after our session was something um, what says my words. I want to be a speaker. I want to be a coach like you. And I will do that till April 2014. You will see. And you know what? Today, uh, he is with me, he is with us, he is at the backstage. Just wait a second because he wants to tell you something. I will break him, okay? So, coaching most of the time is working with others because not always we know right question to ask ourselves. And this is a good moment to meet with coach because we are, mm, we always know the right answer. And when we use self-coaching and we ask ourselves and seek for the answers and changing them into the action, every day we are becoming a better person than the day before. And this is what I wish you. Every day, try to become a better person than the day before. Thank you, everyone.